how to quickly make a contingency table if you are presented with a lot of data. So here we are presented with um, a lot of data about gender and political party and some other stuff that we don't need, but we do need the gender and political party. Okay, so it would be really hard to go through and then look for all of these categories. So for example, to look for all the male Democrats, we go male, male Democrat, we count one here, we go through and look again, and it would just take a lot of time, and there's a lot of room for error. So in order to avoid the time and the, the, the you know, the, just the heartache of trying to count that way, uh, there are two formulas that we're going to learn in this video. One is the concatenate formula, and I'll put this here for reference, and the other one is the count if formula. So with those two things, our lives will be so much easier. Okay. So now in order to, well, let's talk about what concatenate means. Concatenate means putting these two things together or putting two things together. So I am going to concatenate my gender and my political party. We could actually put more than two things together if we wanted to. All right, so I start every formula with the equal sign. So I'm gonna go ahead and press equal and then type the word concatenate. Open my parentheses. I'm going to click on the gender over here, put a comma, and click on the political party over here. I'm going to close my parentheses and then press enter. Now we have the two things together in one cell, which is super useful. So I'm going to go ahead, click in that box, hover until I see that black cross in the corner, and then I'm going to click and drag. One second, let's do this again. Click and drag and try not to get some random boxes popping up. Uh, and then the boxes keep coming. All right. Uh, there we go. All right. So now we have, as you can see here, a male Republican, male Republican, female Democrat, female Democrat. All right. So that is the concatenate function, which is super useful. Now what we have to do in order to get the counts is use the count if formula. Again, every formula starts with the equal sign, and we go ahead and type count if, open parentheses, and now I'm going to tell my uh, Google Sheets where I want it to look. So I want it to look in this column. So I'm highlighting this column, being careful not to let go. There we go. And then I'm going to press comma, and we're looking for the male Democrats. And I'm going to type it exactly as it would show up in a box with um, the same uppercase M, the same uppercase D. I'm going to put that in quotations. So male Democrat. Make sure your spelling is right. Make sure everything is correct. Close your parentheses and press enter. And it counted it for you. So there are eight male Democrats. And you can go ahead and do that for each box. So count if, open my parentheses, tell it to look here, and I am again looking for something spe specific, I'm looking for male, Republican, make sure everything is typed exactly as it would show up, oops, and close my parentheses and it counts it for you. And you can go ahead and do the rest on your own. Once you have that, then your contingency table will be complete and you can make a side-by-side -side bar graph and all is well with the world.